If you want to learn this, then keep watching. Hey guys, my name is Zach Ferguson, and this channel is all about helping you reach your tricking goals. I may not be the best tricker, but hopefully my experience can help you become the best. Today, this is a tutorial for a hyper twist. It was requested by Ivan Svetlakov. Ivan Svetlakov. What they said on an example video that I made for hyper twist uh, a while ago. Honestly, there's not that much to this. It's pretty simple going from butterfly twist to hyper twist, in my opinion. If you don't have a butterfly twist, then what are you even doing right now? Go back and learn a butterfly twist. Here's an example of it. And if I have a tutorial of it, I will also link that now. This is a hyper butterfly twist. So what that means is you do a regular butterfly twist and then you hyper it by landing on the other leg than the leg you normally land on or you over twist it by 180. There are a couple different tools or progressions that I'd recommend for this trick. Specifically, a butterfly kick, just for one of the drills that we're gonna do. A butterfly twist, obviously, so that you can actually do the base of this trick. And a 540 kick, because it will help you understand how to turn your hips and land on the correct leg. We'll use a couple different methods on this tutorial, but really, it's just gonna be a matter of how good your butterfly twist is. If your B-twist is really good and you are good at spotting, then all you have to do is switch legs. And before we get started, I know what you're asking yourself. Why am I in my bedroom uh, with my tripod stacked on a book with a candle holding up my phone? That's because uh, my tripod broke and I'm waiting for one in the mail, but you know, Amazon is taking a while right now because of the virus, so uh, don't judge me. But also we're gonna be using the bed as a tool later on for helping you learn it if you need it. So the first thing you wanna do is a bunch of butterfly twists. Uh, make sure that you are kicking really strong in the back and that you land with your chest up and you don't have to necessarily be able to swing it, but if you can have your chest up and your leg is kinda of swinging through aggressively, then you know you're ready and you'll be able to apply the momentum to get to hyper twist. The first thing that you guys can do to get the feeling of this is to practice some butterfly kicks, uh, get them as high as possible, and start spotting the ground as you're landing. What you guys can do is hold the butterfly kick up in the air and try to wait until the last second to land. What this is gonna do is force you to kind of kick over and land on your right leg. Honestly, I don't feel like it feels that much like a hyper twist, but it's a tool that you can use to understand that you need to kind of be in the air for a long time and then swipe over and land on that leg. On these examples, it doesn't even look like I'm really doing anything different except for maybe a bad butterfly kick, but the feeling is hold yourself in the air, really arch your back, spot the ground, and then wait until the last second to throw that right leg down and land and pull your chest up. On all your butterfly setups, you wanna make sure that you start in this deep lunge. So if you are running and turning around and your stance is really bad and it kinda of looks like the guy in Avatar The Last Airbender when Iroh was teaching him how to stand correctly in the alley, if your B-twist stance looks like that, then that's one of the reasons why you can't get enough power to do hyper twist. So start in this deep lunge and do some butterfly kicks or butterfly twists from this and then use that to do it running. I can do hyper twist running and standing, uh, but it's a lot easier to do it running, obviously. I'll go into more detail when I do a butterfly kick tutorial on the stance itself, but just understand that you need to have it wide and you need to dip aggressively so that you have enough power and that you will be able to kick really aggressively in the back and lift so that you have enough height. The first and safest and most logical thing that you can do is to do a vertical butterfly twist and turn that into a vertical hyper twist. What you do is you do your stance and you do your B twist setup, and then when you are lifting for your chest, you do it kind of gently and you don't really kick your uh, leg up high in the back at all. You just lift it slightly just so you feel the feeling of lifting it, and then you twist vertically just as if you're doing any 360. What your goal is on this is to spot the ground as early as possible because it'll allow you to have a little more air awareness and understand when to switch legs. 
when you get comfortable with this, all you're gonna do is set up for that butterfly kick, do the vertical twist, and then when you see the ground, try to kick over almost like a 540 kick and land on the right leg. You should land on the right leg and pull the left leg behind you, almost as if you were landing a cartwheel on this trick. If you're getting stuck in the middle between your left leg and your right leg, you're kind of landing on both at the same time, then you need to keep your legs closer together. You might want to go back and train some 540 kicks because if you do your vertical B twist and you spot the ground and you kick like you're doing a 540 kick, even if you're not kicking really hard and you're not extending that leg, but it feels like a 540 kick, then it's going to pull you into the correct position. Focus on your hips on this vertical twist when you are twisting because your hips are going to be what's going to allow you to switch legs fast like you need to when you're actually horizontal. As you get better at this, it really is as easy as doing the move over and over again and starting to kick in the back harder and harder. Remember for butterfly kick and butterfly twist tricks, we wanna kick backwards, not sideways with our butterfly kick. This will allow us to get maximum height. When we push with our left leg, it's almost as if you're pushing completely straight up just like pistol squat up and kick backwards with that leg so that you get enough height. As you lift your uh, back and you get your head up and you make that arch position, it'll pull you up in the air and then you can start twisting and you'll have plenty of time to at least do hyper twist. All you have to do is continue to raise that leg higher and higher until it's horizontal. Make sure that you are keeping your chest up no matter what. There's a thing that a lot of people that do B-twist have this complex of, oh, I'm not horizontal enough. I did the same thing when I was learning this, but what you wanna do is lift your head no matter what. Pull your head up as hard as possible. When I do double B-twist, the only thing I think about is lifting my head, but my double B-twist looks relatively horizontal because I kick very aggressively. So never stop pulling your head up and it'll pull you back to your feet when you actually are ready to land. If you've drilled that enough and it's easy and you're kicking really hard in the back and you record yourself and it looks horizontal, then you have a hyper twist. If you're still having trouble with the hyper twist, then what you probably wanna do is roll on the ground or use a teaching tool like a bed or a couch. So what you're gonna wanna do is lay down on your stomach about a body length away from the edge of the bed, pretend you're doing a butterfly kick and then raise that one leg and turn just like you're doing a B twist. Spot the ground and use the edge of the bed to switch legs and land on your right leg and then pull your head up aggressively. As you get better at this, just go faster and faster and focus on spotting and it'll feel just like the real thing. I thought about not adding this because I'm pointing my feet at you, but I wanted to show you the axis of rotation. You rotate around your right foot until the last second and then it's your left foot that's up. You can also use the edge of the bed to really feel how your legs are floating in air. If you're the type of person who has other tricks before butterfly twist, like corks and foals, if you have a hyper version of that, you can just use that to learn your hyper butterfly twist. I know it seems kind of simple, but it is. If you do a good butterfly twist, and then when you're in the air, you visualize it or think about it as if, oh, I'm just doing a cart full twist or I'm doing a cork hyper, and you swipe over that leg and you land on it, then you did a hyper twist. I've seen so many cases of people that you know, come from G-Tramp or something and have trained like tons and tons of fulls and have really good doubles or even triples on the trampoline. But then when they try to learn a butterfly twist or a butterfly twist hyper, they can't do it. Uh, it's because of the set. So for those of you who are like that, what you wanna do is go back, learn a proper butterfly kick. It won't even take that long if you're good at twisting. Uh, just get that arch, get that leg backwards and really focus on the set. And then you just rip the twist and do whatever variation you wanna do. The key to the hyper twist in general is really just spotting. The way I learned it was out in a grass field, I think maybe at PE at school or you know at some training spot whenever I used to train on grass by myself a lot. And what I did was I just focused on my butterfly twist height and spotting the ground for a long time before I actually landed. And then I just thought 540 kick and switched my legs and I was done. I had hyper twist. It was one of those things that just like clicked for me. And that's really all there is to learning a hyper butterfly twist. If you're still having trouble, then unfortunately it's probably just because your butterfly twist isn't that good yet. But you can find comfort in knowing that like that's what you gotta fix. You just gotta go drill your butterfly twist and if your butterfly twists aren't that good, it's probably because your butterfly kick isn't that good. 
If you want to message me at zach.enso on Instagram and send me a video, I can critique it for you if I have time, no promises, but maybe I can tell you a small tip or let you know something that you're doing wrong with yours. Please help me on my quest to a thousand subs by hitting that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys liked it and please share it with your friends if it was helpful to you or if there's something you think that it can help them with. Uh, until next time, please stay safe and healthy and I'll see you later. Just give me your money, old man! With a poor stance, you are unbalanced and you can be easily knocked over.